with, without illness of getting tired unduly. Then there's timeliness of farm operation. Just like now, for example, uh, if uh, five people are to go to a field, let's say maybe 10 hectares, and uh, it might take them more than two weeks for them to clear it. But we ask if you employ a tractor within a day, it's done with that 10 hectares. And, then, and we also know that uh, agricultural production has to do with uh, time minutes. It's the seasonal. If you don't plan your time very well, you just see that uh, your production will be, be, will be affected. It will be affected seriously because uh, things have to be done on time. Now, if, you, if you have to prepare your land, you have to prepare it on time, plant on time, so that uh, it will be able to meet up with uh, the season and then the requirements will be actually met. It also releases human labor which can be used in other industries. Just right now, I just like the example I actually made use of that if five people are to work on a 10 hectares of land, well, it might take them maybe uh, or, or more than a week. Even said it's going to take them more than a week to clear that land. But whereas a tractor, they clear it in a day. And what a tractor just means is the driver and his assistant. And that's okay, two people. The three other people can be released to, for use in other industries. Farm machineries include tractor, bulldozer, uh, shelters, grinding mills, incubator, making machine, sprayer. We'll not be looking at them one after the other. Uh, we'll be starting with the tractor, just as we are having here. The tractor is the most important important and versatile machine used on the farm because it is the prime source of mechanical power. It consists of an internal combustion engine and a, and a hydraulic system and is equipped to power both mobile and stationary equipment and implement. Some of the common brands of tractor are Master Ferguson, John Deere, Holland, David Brown, Ford, Ford, Fiat, and so on. And, uh, uses of a tractor. It is, a tractor is being used in pulling implements such as plow, arrow, or rigger. That is, if you attach your plow, arrow, or rigger to it, the tractor will pull it and also, uh, and it will actually make use of, we can, if we attach our plow to the tractor, we can use it in plowing our land. If we are, uh, attach our arrow, we can use it to harrow the land or the field, and the reader also will help us in, if we attach it to the tractor, our field can easily be reached. That is, we can make ridges uh, if we attach the reader to the tractor. Then the second use is that with a, trail attached, uh, with a trailer attached to the tractor, it can be used for, transport, for transporting farm inputs. It will serve the laborers to be it can be used to convey uh, the laborers to the farm and it can also be used in conveying uh, seeds or seed or other farm inputs to the farm and after we harvested it can also be used in transporting farm produce from the field then that is from our farm then the third use of the tractor is that uh, through its particle of shaft it, is, it can propel implements such as mowers just like if you want to slash uh, the bush on the field, we can use a tractor in doing that. Now, maintenance of a tractor. The maintenance of a tractor can be grouped into daily and routine maintenance. Uh, the daily maintenance of a tractor. Daily maintenance and maintenance carried out on daily basis before using a tractor, and this involves the following. Uh, the first thing, is, if you are to use your tractor in the morning, you check the oil and uh, reduce all water level to see if they are at optimum level. Then you check uh, the electrolyte level in the battery. Then uh, you check the, the tire pressure, that is, you check if your tire, the tire of the tractor are okay. Then tightening of loose bolts and nuts. You have to do that also. Then you gauge your fuel level, 
Now you have to check the fuel level, will it be able to take you to the field and then bring you back? And not only take you to the field, will it be able to sustain the work to be done on the field? Then you check um, the hydraulic level, you check to and ensure that the hydraulic uh, level, that is the hydraulic oil, is at optimum level. Then you clean the tractor immediately after usage. Immediately after you finish uh, the daily job, take it to where you clean it, then you are there to the manufacturer's uh, manual. Then uh, we'll be looking at the routine maintenance of the tractor. What is routine maintenance? Routine maintenance are periodic maintenance or maintenance carry the house at regular interval on the tractor. And this involves the following. The tractor should be serviced at regular interval. And then routine, the second one is that routine and regular changing of the engine oil. That is, you have to change the engine oil so that there will be wear and tear in the, in the engine. Then changing of engine oil filter. You have to change the oil filter to ensure that the oil going into the engine is uh, free of particles. Then adjusting of brake and clutch. You have to make sure that the brake is working perfectly. And then lubricating of all moving parts. You have to lubricate so that they don't get stiffed. And then changing the spark plugs where applicable. Uh, if, the, uh, if the internal combustion engine is a spark ignition engine, you have to change the plug. Uh, but if it is not a spark ignition engine, it is an injector engine, then uh, it doesn't require changing of spark plugs. Then uh, that is if it is a compression ignition engine. In a compression ignition engine, it doesn't make use of a compression ignition engine doesn't doesn't make use of spark plugs. It's only the spark ignition engine that makes use of a spark plug. And if your tractor is a is a, a spark ignition engine, you have to change the spark plugs when necessary. Then you have to respray the panels or body when necessary to prevent rusting. Then immediately after usage, you have to, or when the tractor is not being used. You have to park the tractor on the level ground under a shed. Why on the level ground? If the brake should fail, the tractor can just keep moving. So on the level ground, it won't just move just like that, except an external force act on it, just like with uh, uh, the size to that we have learned in uh, the first law of motion in physics. And then, uh, without to come to the end of tractor, now we'll be looking at bulldozer. Uh, bulldozer are powerful tractors. They are also tractors, but powerful tractors with internal combustion engine, and it's fitted with heavy blade, just as you can see here, that is set across the front. The blades are across the front, and it is usually a crawler tractor with a track type metal chain used for its movement. Just as what we can, we, we are seeing here. Although there are other bulldozers that actually that have their blades at the middle, they also, those ones actually use uh, pneumatic tires. That is, their, their own tire is not, they use tire instead of chain. They use pneumatic uh, tires. Uh, use of bulldozer, it is being used for bush clearing, uh, it's also being used for felling or pruning of trees and stumps. So it's also being used for leveling the ground, just like if your road, uh, if erosion of affected roads, most uh, especially in the rural area where roads are not being tarred, they usually use the bulldozer in leveling of the ground. It's also being used to pave and construct roads on the farm. The maintenance of practice of bulldozer are the same as in a tractor, that is, they have their routine uh, maintenance and then they have their daily maintenance. The next uh, machinery we'll be looking at here is shellers. Uh, just as we can see here, these are machines designed to extract or remove cereal grain from the cup or pulse from the uh, pulse. They are being meant to remove cereal grains from cup, from the cup, just like the maize, just like maize or pulse from the pot and are electrically, mechanically or manually operated. Uh, a shellac consists of a hopper, just as you can see here, and uh, a hopper for feeding the crop into the equipment, a beater or shelling cylinder, a, a concave or stationary plate, 
with slots against which the cylinder beats, a winnowing device which blows the chaff away from the grain, and a set of sieves which separate the and sort the grain from the chaff. What is a shellac being used for? It is being used to extract or remove cereals such as maize from the cup. It is also being used to remove pulses from the pot. Now we'll be looking at the next machinery which is dryer. These are machines used to reduce the moisture content of farm produce such as maize, cocoa, uh, cowpea and so on. So as to increase the storage, storage shelf life of farm produce. It is being used for drying cross products such as maize, cocoa, beans, uh, cocoa. You know, after the cocoa is being harvested, it is uh, being dried before it is being exported or being used for the production of uh, either cocoa tea or uh, beverages like milo or bombita. It is also being used for drying animal products such as fish uh, and meat. Uh, you know, uh, this catfish, most, it, it, most of the time it is being so dried. So it is a dryer being used in drying uh, them. Now we'll be looking at incubator, which is also another form of uh, farm machine. Uh, an incubator is a machine used for incubating poultry eggs until hatching. That is, you know, usually eat chicken, and the chicken doesn't just come into existence. Uh, what happens is that they take all these um, uh, eggs, fertilized eggs, to the hatchery. Uh, 